Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Josh Matacor, if you don't already know, and I help a lot of people get into IT and cybersecurity. That's what this channel is all about. So if you're interested in that, definitely subscribe. So today's video, I'm just gonna be answering a viewer's question again. By the way, this question is on a video where I talk about how to get uh, the bachelor's in cybersecurity from WGU in under a year. I lay out this like plan and I have um, strategies for each individual class and i talk about how to actually pre-study the certifications and everything just to give a bit of context so this viewer said hey josh how do you recommend pre-studying for certifications pre-studying for me sometimes can take a while i'm curious as the strategy for this so in this video i was talking about how if you don't know like wgu is like an online self-paced college where you register for a, a quarter at a time or a term at a time and you're allowed to complete as many classes in that six month term that you can um, and you pay the same amount of money so basically in the video i was talking about you should pre-study as much as you can and then when you actually start the term because you pre-studied you'll you'll be able to like finish you know more than usual or you know more than the average person can do so he's asking me like how to pre-study for certification so basically the way i pre-study for certification so we can think about like security plus for instance the way I would personally go about doing this, oh, by the way, like me and my team built a lot of free practice questions, which I'm about to talk about. So we have a lot of test banks for A plus network plus security plus ITIL, uh, CISSP, and some more. So basically what I would personally do if I was pre-studying for security plus, for instance, is I would first, I would get a nice uh, video series or, you know, one that's vetted by the public. So a good one might be Professor Messer's CompTIA Security Plus video series. It's completely free. So the first thing I would do is I would watch that video series, um, but watch it really casually. Don't like binge watch it for like eight hours because it's gonna be it's gonna make you tired. But just watch it casually, like every day, maybe like an hour or two with some breaks in between, and don't like. Uh, stress too much about like you got to remember all these things and like taking notes the whole time and stressing like don't do that just watch it and then just make sure you understand what he's saying and like understand what he's talking about you want to be at the level when you watch the video where you're like oh, okay yeah that makes sense oh, okay yeah that makes sense you don't have to memorize like T tls like what does tls stand for like what uh port does rdp use like before the exam you want to know those things but like as you're watching the video, I call this the priming phase. When you just watch the videos, just be like, okay, like this makes sense, like that level. And if you want to know more, maybe like, you know, Google a bit, but don't stress too much during this phase. And then after you go through Professor Messer's like whole video series, say you're doing Security Plus, I would recommend just getting a nice test bank to practice with like practice questions. And we, we made free ones. We're making like test banks for like every single exam that the cybersecurity degree requires. So we have most of them by now. So I'll get like our security plus test bank. You can go to like joshmaticore.tech slash, you know, exams and then get the security plus one and just go through like every single question in that thing at least once. Just make sure you understand why all the correct answers are correct, why the incorrect answers are incorrect and just make sure you like learn like take the time to learn things in that phase like the first phase when you're like watching the videos you're just kind of priming your brain and getting introduced to concepts but when you're doing the practice questions actually like understand like every question and take the time to like use chat gpt or google or youtube to look look up the individual concepts that you don't understand each one of the exam banks that we create there's like a book attached to it um, like all the questions come from topics from that book so um, there's like a link on the site you can get the book the related book if you want or you know you can just use chat gpt for almost free or google or something so just go through all the practice questions um, make sure you understand them all essentially and then if you're using like the offline anki deck which there's a link to uh, on the exam page um, after you go through all the questions at least once go through the ones you got wrong um, I, like one more time or two more times like just you want to make sure you like understand the stuff that you have a hard time with so after you go through everything once and then you go through the stuff again that you got wrong and you're feeling like pretty confident about it you can probably go ahead and enroll for wgu and then you know just take the test um when it comes up because every there's like a bunch of ex, like it exams inside of wgu like certain classes to pass a class you have to pass like security plus for instance so once you've studied enough, like gone through all the practice questions and gone through the ones you got wrong again, then you, you can, you know, take your test or like register at WGU or whatever the, the case may be. 
Um, if you're studying for like multiple exams before registering at WGU, of course, like do that for each exam. Don't worry about like, oh, like what if I forgot like the first one? It's going to be like, you know, easier to remember it like the second or third time you get exposed to it. So you don't have to worry too much. Um, so basically just a recap, watch a free video series, do the practice exam questions, like all of them once, and then do the ones you got wrong again. And then after that, you know, register at WGU or uh take the exam or whatever you're doing. But that's that's how I've done it in the past and that's how I would do it in the future, like the next time I take another practice or the next time I take a, an IT exam, if I ever do another one of those again. But yeah, I hope this helps. Um, if you're interested in getting a degree, definitely check out the this video, like the WGU Bachelor's in Cybersecurity one year strategy video. And I think it will help you all a lot. And it's certainly cheaper than spending like, you know, 50K in four years on a, on a degree like you would have had to do like 10 years ago. So yeah, hope this helps. Uh, thanks for watching and we will see you in the next video.